What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're on the last three videos in this series of advanced side mount and wreck penetration dives. And in today's video, we're going to look at an extremely tight restriction here. A good friend of mine, David, is going to make a penetration of a van that's up at Lake Phoenix. Now one thing that makes this restriction so dangerous or so difficult, if you will, it's because of how the van is sitting. Yes, the van is upright. It's on all fours. However, because it's on a pile of rubble and not necessarily on flat ground, there's a lot of jagged rocks that are coming up directly underneath the van. Now, you can very easily penetrate through the cargo area or through the passenger area of the van. However, the penetration that David's going to make is going to go directly up underneath, up through the drive shaft area, and then out the front of the van, the engine bay part of this van. And like I said, it's a very tight restriction for him because it's not set and just perfect where you can just go under it like you saw in the bus video with me. So let's go ahead and get this video started here and I'll kind of walk you through exactly how he's making this penetration. Now he is choosing to go completely no mount here. That means he's taking both cylinders off. One he's going to gun out in front of him here. Um, and this is this can be dangerous. If there wasn't an exit point, obviously he probably wouldn't make it, this penetration at all. He would take both bottles if he even needed to. But in this particular situation, there are several exit points where he can come out at. But there you can kind of see how those rocks are kind of preventing a direct uh, insertion or direct penetration up underneath here. He is having to ditch all of the air out of his VCD, which is going to be very important for a future video where we talk about manipulating your buoyancy strictly with your breathing as well. But now that he's kind of halfway in there, if you will, he's going to have to navigate around all those rocks that this van's sitting on, and then he's going to come straight up through the engine bay itself. And you can see the mud and the rust that's on his wetsuit there. That's from really brushing up. And a lot of times when you make these advanced penetration or these uh, really tight restriction dives like this, you're not going to have perfect trim and perfect buoyancy. And yes, you are going to brush up against things, especially if you're penetrating shipwrecks. Um, and just like any overhead environment, we try our best to have perfect trim, perfect buoyancy, but sometimes you've got to kind of contort your body to get in and out of certain areas. And that's exactly what he did in this video here. We're going to watch this one more time and we're going to see just how much struggle he has, but why he's persistent and why he takes his time and he's actually very successful in this penetration. So I'll go ahead and hit play again. Like I said, he's going in no mount. He's already removed one of his bottles. His other bottle he's going to gun. And then as he starts to go under here, you'll notice, see all the rocks there? That's really kind of preventing the best penetration, if you will, but he's just gonna take his time. He's gonna work back and he's gonna work through some troubles. The trouble here is he's got way too much air in his BC. And he's gonna reach back and dump some of that air. He's also checking to see if he's having any damage done to his equipment, which can happen when you make penetration dives like this. And then once he gets the lower side of his BC through, He's going to follow that drive shaft. He's going to worm his way through the rocks. He's going to follow that drive shaft all the way up through the engine bay. And then, of course, make his exit point there through the engine bay. But yeah, it's a really cool penetration. It's a very technical penetration as far as how difficult it is. It's a very tight restriction. And as always, we do not encourage you guys to go out here and make these penetrations without proper training and proper supervision. Even though David and I do this all the time, we wouldn't do it unless one of the other ones was there. So David's not going to go do this solo unless I'm there and vice versa. So guys, please make sure you get properly trained and that you're properly supervised if this is what you want to do. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. We have two more left in in this series that I really think is going to be beneficial to you. It's going to teach you about buoyancy and trim, and they're a lot of fun to make as well. But guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.